Hey, what is going on, YouTube? A.A. Ron here. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having a fantastic evening or morning or afternoon whenever you are viewing this video, but it is evening for me. I was actually traveling for work today. Of course, I got some pings early this morning, but wasn't really able to do a video on it. A shout out to Mr. Swingo here, a.k.a. Hazy, and a few other people who did tag me in this information. Mr. Final Boss himself was spotted in the Michelangelo here uh, the Super Cruiser in a live server, and he actually did confirm it on the Legends Discord or somewhere uh, where he is known. I'm pretty sure this is the Legends Discord. But anyway, this is an upcoming ship, whether or not it is the campaign ship that is to be seen. This is all, of course, pure speculation. This ship might not even be in the next update. There are a few times where Boss has tested a ship, and when I say tested, he's basically just bringing the ship into a live server to make sure that the server just doesn't, well, do this. But, uh, no, I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but yeah, actually, we do have some live footage today of Boss testing the ship. And uh, here it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just playing with my editing skills. I'm like a seventh grader who first uh, figured out how to splice in videos here. But um, just a little side note on that. Boss or the super testers even, any of the Wargaming employees, when we say testing a ship, again, they're just making sure that it doesn't break any parts of code or you know, completely ruin the game. Um, and I wish that Wargaming would give them a little more leeway to balance ships and give their opinion and feedback. Unfortunately, um, not necessarily the super testers, some of them, but uh, people's opinions on ship doesn't necessarily make a ship strong or weak, etc. There are certainly ships that, you know, myself included, that I've thought are either really strong or really weak, and we have gotten kind of you know, subjective opinions wrong. Wargaming, fortunately and unfortunately, relies on those beloved spreadsheets to tell us X, Y, and Z. However, you put in, uh, you know, the average player in a decent ship, and that's probably why, uh, you know, the Fletcher got buffed so, you know, so long ago. Anyway, beyond that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Michelangelo stats on the World of Warships Legends PC wiki, and we can actually see that a majority of of the health, we kind of zoom in here, and I counted, I believe, 12 or 13 bars, which matches the health total, 66,000. If each bar is typically 5,000 health, you can see that it is about the same there. Someone can double check me on that. But anyway, let's go ahead and look, like I said, at the PC here. The Washington Naval Conference gave Italy the opportunity to build battleships from 1927, several projects with a displacement of 18,000 to 35,000 tons were under development simultaneously. By some, some of the projects relied on foreign designs, Hood, Nelson, and Dunkerque, but some were unique. The designs proposed by Admiral De Feo featured a ship with eight 320 millimeter guns in quadruple gun turrets placed close to the midship frames while the secondary battery mounts were moved toward the ship's fore and aft ends. Michelangelo was first released on 06 December 23. Why do you Europeans say the date so weird? It just makes more sense the month first. No, I'm just kidding. As the reward for completing all 32 stages of Sestresi Ponente Dockyard. Pon Ponente? I think I said that very Italian. Our our surname actually was Travasano before it was changed uh, to fit in to be more American. But I love my Italian heritage and my American heritage. But anyway, here we've got the 320 millimeter guns, two by four of them there with a 24 second reload. So you're kind of a super cruiser, battle cruiser. I'm sure I'm going to get a comment of, actually, Aaron, it was a uh, super battle cruiser instead of just a battle super cruiser. But anyway, um, displacement and gun caliber typically dictate those, um, you know, those rules of, of what a ship is. It's not necessarily based on the armor. However, given what we know about typical Italian ships, it'll probably have moderately weak bow armor with a strong belt that you can angle as well as being rather tanky um, towards the Citadel with potentially a turtle back. And again, I'm, I don't know. I'm just guessing going based off of previous, you know, ships like the Napoli, the Venezia, etc. Um, but anyway, here uh, we have HE shells. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So, uh, funny story there, guys. I wasn't paying attention. It said HE chance to set fire 0%. Why they would have that in there, I don't know, but it has SAP and AP. Anyway, back to the idiot from the past. As well as AP shells, 9,700. Now, given 
how inaccurate Italians can be. We were actually discussing this today in our Discord, which if I haven't mentioned already, make sure you guys hop in here. It is the coolest place um, on the universe. So I will leave a link down below. It's basically just a chat room. Be cool, be chill. Don't start arguments. Uh, join the bro zone if you want some lifting advice from Super Chad himself, aka me, um, who is barely over 200 pounds at my max. But anyway, Italians are not that accurate. So getting, you know, eight citadels is probably... Highly unlikely. However, if you get two or three connected there, that could be a significant chunk of health. And yeah, anyway, should be a fun ship. I don't think this is going to be the campaign, if I'm being honest. It could be. Who knows? I think Wargaming has to throw in a battleship here. Um, I just, I don't know. Um, I'm guessing that this ship is going to be tier 8 because it's a tier 9 on PC. 66,100 health. I'm guessing that's going to be the same as well. Um, a set of torpedo tubes. How many do we get here? Two by three. So... Where are they on? Does it show me on this ship? Does it show me? Show me two by three. Where are they? All in the back here, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think they're going to be on the back here. But uh, two by three launchers of 533 millimeters there. Pretty decent torpedoes. Usually, generally, pretty slow. 72 knots is actually not as slow as they typically are with an eight kilometer range. So not the stereotypical Italian torps. They're a little bit faster with a little bit decreased range. And they actually do a little bit more damage. So this is kind of one of those oddball cruisers. You know how typical American battleships are, you know, the, the line of the Kansas, for example, are slow. And, and you know, they, they, of course, sometimes throw in an oddball there. Um, but Michelangelo is one of a kind, unlike any other ship in the game. Michelangelo's main battery is located amidship. Amidships? I don't think that's... Is that a word? Amidships. But bracketed... Bracketed fore and aft by superstructure, featuring no forward or aft firing angles whatsoever. <laughs> so, while there are still turret turrets in these arcs, they are secondary battery guns and thus unable to be controlled directly. Drastic. This drastically changes Michelangelo's playstyle compared to her contemporaries. I can already tell you with that description right there, this ship is not going to be popular because players in this game... And it's not necessarily you guys watching or listening to my videos, but players in this game don't know how to angle. And they're just going to sail broadside in this thing. And that as a result, they're going to say it's bad. Now, I have a feeling that this ship is not going to be good. A 24-second reload with eight turrets. That's Battleship-esque reload. The Burgone, I think, is 25, 26 with three... Uh, what are the Burgones? 380s and a reload booster and much better health and armor. And anyway... Um, now, of course, the Burgone doesn't get torpedoes, but alas, um, I, I think this ship is, I don't know. Let's look at the pros and cons here. Has battleship caliber main guns despite being classed as a cruiser, powerful SAP firing secondaries, torpedoes are strong and fast with wide firing angles, large hit pool, hit point pool for a cruiser, high top speed, good concealment when fully upgraded, has hydroacoustic search. Oh, okay. So that is actually pretty spicy. So, if you don't, the Italians are typically known for their exhaust smoke generator, um, which is that crawling smoke, which usually, not, it wasn't when it was first released in this game, but usually you can go full speed and pop your exhaust smoke generator and be concealed and smoke the entire time. That was actually fixed for the Italians, but one of the drawbacks is you didn't have hydroacoustic search. So you wouldn't necessarily know what would, you know, if, if you went dark, if you smoked up and you went dark and no one else was spotting the target, you didn't necessarily know where they were. However, now with this hydroacoustic search, you can push in undetected up until you get into the range, of course, of your hydro there. And yeah, this thing can be, that, that might be some, some tricky points, but getting to your targets and then, of course, trying to get your guns as the cons here on target. Horrible firing angles must sail near broadside to un mask both main turrets yikes batman holy yikes only three torpedoes per side of the ship with limited range so there's yeah two by three there so not the standard italian four no he wait what didn't it say he up here or am i stupid oh it's zero aaron is stupid aaron is dumb i know i know i'm gonna get a comment on that i promise you I promise you I'm going to get a comment on that. So if anyone comments that, make sure, yeah, so I actually might go back and edit this. It, uh, I don't, why do we even have that in there? Okay, first of all, this is, 
This is the wiki's fault, all right? I was just quickly reading this. But uh, yeah, you have SAP, so I'm, I'm stupid. But uh, anyway, uh, AP and SAP, which will be pretty nasty. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> SAP secondaries lose a lot of effectiveness against heavy, heavily armored targets as a cruiser. Mike Landros lacks captain skills to improve secondary accuracy. Not necessarily in our game, but huge Citadel block risen above waterline and knows that are after only. So I was uh, correct on the rest of my assessments with the exception of the HE. So if anyone wants to comment on that HE, kindly do. And then the rest of us who have watched the full video are going to laugh at you. So huge, uh, like any... Like other Italian warships, Michelangelo's 8A defenses are poor. So there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this ship looks fun. It's not going to be strong. I, I have a feeling it's not going to be OP. Now, that doesn't mean you can't put this ship in the right position. It doesn't mean the ship is not going to have her own unique commander or something to make it semi-viable. I just, I'm going to have a tough time defending Wargaming after so many mid-campaigns in a row. And I know people are going to be like, well, actually, if you get this very specific build on Velos, and, you know, if you have eight AFK players in an Enterprise, the tips are actually really good. And yes, guys, I know some of you have had fantastic games in each and every one of those ships. Objectively speaking, though, the Velos really isn't that strong. I did have fun playing her. It is kind of a new, unique play style. But... For the average player, I truthfully, I know this sounds kind of weird sometimes because we, you know, us YouTubers always make videos about OP ships, but I kind of want a really strong battleship to come into the game. I think the Borodino should have been the last campaign. Uh, it would have been a near perfect ship. You know, if you sail broadside in it, you go boom, but it's still a really strong ship. Yes, it's only six guns. All of the comments I've seen defend, like saying that the Borodino is not good are just so brain rot dumb. Like, <laughs> it just, it's it's super strong. But anyway, that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make fun of me for, you know, not double checking myself here at uh, basically 11 o'clock at night after a 14 hour day. Uh, but yeah, anyway, love you guys. And uh, I'll see you down in the comments where I make fun of those. Uh, who just don't like me, but I'm just kidding. I'll put the Discord links as well as the link for this um, PC Wiki website, and it, there is also a Legends website, which, of course, this ship will... It's only ships that are currently in Legends on that website, but I'm blabbering. Love you guys. Have a good night. Peace.